Generally, architects' fees are broken down over the RIBA work stages. There are three main methods architects use to calculate and structure their fees. As a percentage of construction budget, the second is a lump sum, and the third is as a time charge. The percentage of construction budget method is predominantly used when the scope of work at the beginning of the project is not clearly defined. The fee is indexed to the construction budget to allow you a reasonable idea of the overall fee while still allowing for small changes of scope during the running of the project. The lump sum method is predominantly used where the scope of work at the beginning of the project is clearly defined and well known and an architect is able to clearly forecast how much work will be involved to complete that project. An architect will estimate the amount of overall time they need to complete the project and present this to you as a single fee. Whilst this method gives peace of mind that the overall costs for the project are fixed, if the scope of work changes during the running of the project, there's a possibility that the fee will need to be renegotiated. Time charge is often used for smaller or discrete pieces of work where the overall scope of work is not known or smaller pieces of work that fall outside of the main project scope. An architect will tell you their hourly rate and an estimate time cap on the amount of hours needed to complete the work. This will only be exceeded with client approval. It's worth noting that while you're agreeing a fee for an entire project, you are only ever committed to one stage at a time. If you want to pause the project or terminate an architect's fees, you can do that at the end of any stage.